So for those of you who don't know, I am a second year college student at Northeastern University and I have an emotional support dog, Daisy, who lives with me. I just kind of wanted to get real on what it's like to have an emotional support animal and the process that I went through to get her to live with me. So I have been diagnosed with depression and anxiety since I was 10 years old, something like that. I've definitely had it since I was nine, but I think I really got diagnosed when I was like 10, 11, 12, something like that. I also got Daisy when I was 12 years old just to be a family pet. Later on, eventually, I realized how much Daisy helps me with my anxiety, with my stress, with my depression, where I can just hug her and cuddle her and pet her, and she calms me down immensely. Also, if I'm really stressed, she can sense that and she'll go and spend more time with me and it's precious. <laughs> so I went through my first year of college without having Daisy with me because, you know, I didn't think it would be fair to have her stuck in a 12 by 12 double dorm room while I was in class all day. But for my second year, I realized how much I really do miss her and want her to be here with me. So I applied to have her come here since I am living in an apartment this year that has a lot more space for her to roam around. So the process initially, she was already registered as a support animal for several years um, since I had my depression and anxiety and I wanted to get her registered so that it would simplify the flying process since I do need her and things such as that. It also would make it where if I wanted to take her up to school with me or have her live with me because I really do need that connection and that warmth and that support from her that I am able to do that. So she's been registered a few years. You can go online and register your animals. Just make sure it's a legit site that you're giving your money to. Um, a lot of emotional support animals don't require actual training. So Daisy hasn't had any real training in being a support animal because for my needs, I don't need that. But you can get them trained to have certain responses for things like that, which I would love for her to do eventually. But I just have not gotten around to it. And she provides me with so much support just being herself. So anyway, um, in order to get her approved for living with me, she is a like um, approved animal, that's what it's called, um, I had to get a letter from my vet um, saying that Daisy is healthy and is not aggressive or anything like that. Had to get a letter from my psychiatrist saying that I actually did need Daisy, that um, I do have some emotional mental illnesses that require me to feel that love and support and connection that animals provide and that she does alleviate so much stress that comes along with school and test anxiety and things such as that. I also have a social timer when it comes to how much I can spend time with people but with Daisy I make sure that I get that interaction and the warmth and all of those types of things. It's also incredible having her here with me because on my really bad days, I still have to go outside because I have to make sure that I'm taking care of her. So we take care of each other and it's a really beautiful experience. So days when I would way rather just sleep in bed all day, I know that I have to wake up and take her out and take her for a walk and feed her and give her her treats and things such as that. And it just makes me feel better and pushes me to be better. A lot of people criticize support animals saying that they're not service animals, which they're not, um, but a lot of people think that they're fake and it's a scam and you don't actually need them and this whole thing. And honestly, there was probably a time when I felt like I didn't really need her either. Um, but you know, I realized how much she really does help with my mental illnesses and it's night and day how much I would cry last year or feel stressed last year or feel anxious last year and this year and it's not just because of her I'm in a much better place now but having her here it's night and day and I am so thankful that I get to have this opportunity to have her here with me and with her being a registered support animal that means that I am lucky enough to be able to bring her places with me and things like that which just it makes my life so much easier. <laughs> I have faced some difficulties with this. Um, that just comes with everything. Um, you know, there is stigma with mental illness and needing support, um, you know, because I'm, I'm not blind, I don't have any broken bones, nothing like that, you know, so a lot of people don't see where I need assistance and that doesn't click with them. Um, for example, one time I was eating breakfast with Daisy at an outdoor restaurant. I don't bring her with me to indoor restaurants. Um, I, I don't want to do that to burden people. It is a place where I feel safe and comfortable enough to go. But when there are outdoor restaurants, I love to be able to bring her. It's great for her to socialize. It's great for me to socialize. People like to come up and talk and pet her. 
it's nice for me to feel like I'm not alone so my social anxiety really diminishes um, and it's just ultimately what's best for me if I can't go with somebody else or sometimes even when I can um, and one time I was sitting there with her and she, she didn't even come inside with me because you like go up to this place to order and then that's the only part that's inside and everything else is outside so I just tied her leash up to a table and some chairs um, she had enough room to like move around a little bit but definitely not enough to get into anybody's way um, she's very well behaved she just sits and she's a good girl she has a little red support animal vest um, to show that she is working so people know to ask before petting her and people know that I'm not just bringing her as a pet and I had this woman come up to me, um, this older woman, and say, you really shouldn't bring dogs to restaurants. And I said, oh ma'am, I'm really sorry this is inconveniencing you. She's actually a support animal, so she, you know, she helps me. And the woman goes, yeah, okay. And it was just such a blow to me to have somebody question like that, like as if, you know, I look like I'm fine, so how could I possibly have anything that's wrong, wrong with me, you know, or how could I ever need any support? But having her here at school with me has been incredible. Um, people get so excited when they see her, when I'm like walking her and stuff. Um, today the weather was incredible and it was so bright and sunny, so we went out and we had an hour long walk, which, I mean, Daisy's really tiny, so that's a big deal for her. And she was just going around um, this little grassy area that we have at our school and saying hi to all the people that were out sitting and they were so excited they were like oh my gosh come here like you know encouraging her to come and it was precious um but yeah i just kind of wanted to share a little bit on what it's like to have a support animal um the process that i went through was getting all the certification from my psychiatrist from my vet and then submitting it to my school and they had to go through a whole board system to like approve it and everything but I did end up getting approved which is incredible I have a little sticker on my ID card so that people know I can have her with me and if you guys have any other questions about support animals or ESAs um, comment them down below and I'll be sure to get to them um, yeah I love Daisy so much and this has just been such an incredible process and I thought that this would be a very helpful video so I hope that it was um uh that was my video I hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below I make new videos every single Saturday and I would love to have you hope you guys have a great day and I love you so much bye <laughs>